What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to simplify an algebraic expression that has a bunch of exponents on it and we're going to do this using the product to a power rule. So first of all the product to a power rule as you can see inside of these parentheses we have a product right 5 times a squared times b cubed so that is a product and then we're raising this whole thing to a power too so that's why it's called the product to a power rule. So the way this works is all you have to do is take this exponent and it's almost like distributing, okay? You're going to apply it to every single term that's inside of these parentheses. So you're going to take this 2 and you're going to apply it to the 5, to the a squared, and to the b cubed. Okay, so we can write this as 5 raised to the second power, right? We're going to raise everything to the second power right here. Okay, and then we have a squared right here. a squared raised to the second power. And then we have b cubed also raised to the second power. Okay, so now we can simplify some of this stuff right here. So 5 squared, that's the same thing as 5 times 5, right, which is just 25. And then here we have a squared raised to the second power. So how do you raise a power to a power like this? Well, the way you raise a power to a power is by simply multiplying these two numbers together. So here we're going to have a raised to the 2 times 2. Okay, and it's going to be the same thing right here. So here again we have a power raised to another power. So here we're going to have b raised to the 3 times 2. Okay, so now simplifying this a little bit more, we have 25, right? And then 2 times 2 is 4, right? So then here we're going to have a to the 4th power. a to the 4th power. And then here we have 3 times 2, which is 6. So we're going to have b to the 6th power. b to the 6th power. Okay? So this thing right here, boom, right there, simplified down to this. 25 a to the 4th, b to the 6th. Okay? So that's the left side. Okay? But remember, we're multiplying this by this also, right? So now let's simplify the right side. So again, you're going to take this exponent and you're going to essentially distribute it to everything that is inside of these parentheses. So you're going to distribute it to the a, right? Because we have the terms right here are a and b to the fourth. Okay, so you're going to distribute it to the a and to the b to the fourth. Okay, and you're not going to distribute it to this 2 out here because the 2 is not inside of these parentheses. Okay, you only distribute it to what is inside of your parentheses right here. Okay, so simplifying this right here, we're going to have a raised to the third power. And then here we're going to have b raised to the fourth power raised to the third power. Right? And then this 2 out here, we're just going to bring it straight down. Okay, so here we have 2a cubed and then b to the fourth to the third. Okay, so again, how do you simplify a power raised to a power. Well, again, you just multiply these together. Okay, so 4 times 3, that is equal to 12, right? So here we're going to have b raised to the 12 power. So then rewriting this, we're going to have 2a cubed b to the 12th power. Okay, so this whole side right here, right there, simplified to 2a cubed b to the 12th. And remember, we're multiplying these two things together, right? So we're going to multiply this times this. Okay, so let me, let me actually move this down here. Okay, so remember, we're multiplying these together, right? Now, in order to multiply these together, you need to combine like terms. Okay, so in order to do that, let's start with the numbers. So here we have a 25 and here we have a 2. What's 25 times 2? Well, that's equal to 50, right? So we're done with the numbers. All right, now let's move on to this a term. So here we have a to the fourth times a to the third, right? And just to make it clear, I'll write it out here. a to the fourth times a to the third. So how would you simplify this? How would you multiply these together? Well, whenever you're multiplying exponents like this together, uh, you just keep the term. So we have an a here, we have an a here, so you just keep the a. And then the exponents, you just add them together. So we would do 4 plus 3. So a raised to the 4 plus 3, which would be the same thing as a to the 7th. Okay? So then a to the 4th times 
a to the third is equal to a to the seventh. Okay, so we're done with those a terms. And then lastly, we have b to the sixth times b to the twelfth. So again, we have a b in each case, right? And then you just add the exponents together. So 6 plus 12, which is equal to 18, all right? So then your final answer right here would be 50 a to the 7th, b to the 18th. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.